Bushes and balls. Bushes and balls are called forces. What is a force? Do you know? A force is what causes an object to move. In Bahasa, force is called gaya atau tenaga. Force can be strong or weak. A stronger force makes bigger change. We use push force or pull force to move things around us. What is a push? Hmm, do you know? A push is the force that moves an object away from something. In Bahasa, push is called dorong. Some activities that use push force are when you roll the ball, when you kick the ball, and then when you glue the paper, you have to push the glue. And when you put a book in back, you have to push the book to the back. And when you write, you have to push the pencil to write. How about the pull? What is a pull? A pull is the force that moves an object closer. In Bahasa, pull is called tarik. Some activities that use pull force are when you tie the shoelaces, you have to pull the shoelaces. And when you zip the jacket. Also, when you climb the rope, you have to pull the rope. And when you put on socks, you have to pull the socks. Then when you turn off the light, or when you pick the book, you have to pull the book out from the shelf. What is the man doing? Look at the picture. Yes, do you know? Yes, the man is pushing the swing. How about this man? What is the man doing? Good, the man is Pulling the suitcase. Pushes and pulls can make things go faster or slower. A bigger pushes and pulls force can make things go faster and further. Pushes and pulls can make things go a different ways. Straight line, zigzag, up, down forward, backward, and so on. These are some examples. Push the ball forward. Pull up a tissue. Push the ball up. Pull up the pole. Push the ball in a straight line. Push the trolley forward. Pushes and pulls can make things stop. We can push the ball to move. And we can push the ball to stop. That's all for today, kids. Thank you.